What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevo Zilla back with another video. Guys, as promised, I show you guys I'm going to be bringing a video. I will call it best setup for sniping or for snipers using the game pack. The Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 Pro game pack for both Strike Pack and the Zen. I don't know what I'm going to call it, but regardless of what, this is a tutorial. This is going to be how to set up all those of you who love sniping. All right? This is going to be for quick scoping as well as the auto hold breath mod or in this case, within this game pack, they're calling it autofocus or AKA, you know, auto hold breath. Now, jumping straight into it, you already know all the orange, you must match all your in game settings accordingly. I've been through this a million and one times with you guys. And I'm going to be skipping all the way down to, you know, obviously the most important part, which is global mods, guys. A lot of you guys still be asking me, um, how do you have auto hold breath? How do you have auto hold breath? You guys are looking for those words. And in this game pack, they still have that mod. But it's called autofocus and it's within global mods you can see right here i already have a setup for af br and ds that stands for autofocus block rumble and dive sprint you can see all these global mods are abbreviated so af br dj ds and rm okay if you want all if you want all of them just scroll way down and then you have all four of them here but me personally i just stick with two of them honestly the br and ds but in this case, I'm going to be adding autofocus, all right? So I want all three, AF, BR, DS, boom, set it right there again. Setting it like that is going to guarantee you have auto hold breath once you ADS, all right? Just remember that. That's how you enable that. Now, if you want to learn about quick scoping and all that stuff, it gets a little bit more complicated, not too complicated, all right? But you want to scroll down to the web profiles. Now, if you're following along and your sniper is like in your loadout tool, loadout three, fine, just follow along. It's the same thing. All right, but, but in this case, I'm using a little one primary weapon for an example. As you can see, I have a set of generic release quick scope. What this means right here, they also have tap quick scope. Generic just means generic, but they have tap quick scope and then release quick scope. So release means that when you ADS and then you let go of L2, it's going to quick scope, it's going to fire. So pretty much it's going to fire for you. You don't have to fire. All right, tap quick scope means that it's literally going to fire the moment you ADS. So it's going to go doom, doom like that, all right? And then release quick scope, obviously, is going to allow you to ADS. And then once you release L2, it's going to fire. All right, those are the two differences. You can also have like that, the exact web profile um, set up. So let's say the Victus, for example. I'm going to be going over the Victus as a sniper rifle in this game, right? You can set it like this. You still have auto hold breath and all that because you already have it up here as a global mod, as well as you're setting it here as a weapon profile. So you're, you're good to go with auto hold breath. But you're not going to have quick scope and all that stuff, what I just explained to you guys, right? It's going to be like just basic. But but you're setting the web profile here. And there's no need to, to <laughs> try to use anti-recoil. Trust me, it's pointless. You're going to be firing one round at a time. It's a sniper rifle. So don't even worry about anti-recoil values, right? All right? You can set it up like this, like I said. Just make sure you have AF up here as a global mod, right? Autofocus. I'm going to be showing you guys both and what they look like. So I'm going to be setting it up like this, as well as setting it up what I believe to be the best way to set up for snipers is using right here, generic release quick scope. So let me set this up first for you guys like this. Boom. All right. And of course, by the way, this works in Warzone 2 and in DMZ also, as well as the same game pack for strike pack. So if you got strike pack, follow along. This just makes it a lot easier for me to just focus and see one thing on the screen. All right. That's the reason why. All right. So I'm setting it up like this, release quick scope. All right. Everything else is fine. Now you can see this right here. My advice to you guys, don't mess, don't mess with this unless you really want to, unless you're like experimenting and trying out different snipers and stuff like that. You're messing with the millisecond right here. This is kind of like a delay, a uh, quick scope and AHB delay. This is like, if you want, if, how fast you want to, you want it to fire when you release L2 or how fast you want it to fire when you ADS. This is, you know, just honestly leave it like that. 550 is perfect. It's spot on. I tested it and I tried it out. If you want to start messing with the numbers and adjust it, that's up to you guys. All right. I'm not going to tell you to do it. I'm not going to say not to do it. But in this video, I'm just going over the basics with you guys. All right. So just setting everything up as is like this. Boom, boom. Okay. And the rest doesn't really matter. All right. And of course, like I said in the beginning, match your in-game settings. Once you're done, close, save it. Now I'm going to be hopping into a private game to show you guys what it all looks like. All right. You can see, let me just show you guys. I am using the Victus XMR. No attachments, but the attachments doesn't even really matter unless you're going to go ahead and they're all locked but unless you're going to go ahead and change say the optic and you want to like just throw on a different optic that's not going to allow you to hold your breath then you know you're not going to have the whole breath feature but i'm pretty sure you guys don't care about that because 
the main point of this video is so you can have either just the stock optic which is you know as you can see or another optic that's going to allow you to uh to use auto hold breath or autofocus as they're calling it now i know i don't got the zen cam on because it's kind of not showing no values or adjusting anything it's just simple once you you know turn on the game pack and start it the first web profile the first loadout should be already set for you which for me is going to be release quick scope all right so let me show you guys what that looks like for a second real quick but of course once you ads check this out look what happens i'm just going to hold l2 and check it out see she automatically holds the breath obviously it's not going to be that long but it holds the breath every time now look what happens when i let go l2 see that so not only is it automatically holding the breath it's also going to fire because of the web profile i am using is quick scope release all right so quick scope on release so that means when i let go l2 is automatically going to fire i'm gonna do it again and once i let go it fires all right so all those of you sweaties that want to be quick scoping and sniping and stuff like that check it out you can just see that like just hold out two it's going to fire see so it's, it's holding the breath for a second and as well as firing off around so so you don't have to you know press r2 all the time that's on release so that's only going to happen when you let go of, of l2 now let me change it now i'm going to change the weapon profile to to tap uh quick scope right now look what happens I, on release i already showed you when you let go of l2 it's going to fire now check this out once you tap it it's going mad it's automatically going to fire so it's going to ads and then fire all right check it out again see that which is i mean that's kind of to me that's kind of sort of pointless i'd rather have it on release so like that you know when to fire let's say you see him right there and then you just let go it's going to fire as so i can do that with this one because with this one you just press it and it's going to fire now guys last but not least i just set it to the victus xmr web profile the actual web profile of this weapon which doesn't apply you know anything quick scope right still gonna have auto hold breath but it's not gonna do anything it's not gonna automatically fire so let me show you guys for example i'm gonna hold down l2 so check it out like you see it does automatically still hold the breath but then there's no firing see ads and you can still shoot see that you gotta shoot yourself but you still have automatic hold breath now before i end the video let's go back to the generic quick scope on release which i recommend and i prefer all right it's going to be at the top all right release quick scope now every time you let go it's going to fire and it's going to happen anytime you, you could you could release l2 real fast so or you can hold it for a long time depending you know the situation if they're close far whatever have you if you want to quick scope them all right so there you go that's the setup there you have it it's simple simple guys just make sure you have autofocus it is now called autofocus it's in the global mod section of the game pack set that up and once you have that applied that's for like any gun right any gun any gun that requires you to automatically hold your breath is going to do so all right and then of course watch out with that quick scope because it is it is going to fire every time you let go of l2 so if you're not sniping i recommend going back and not using those mods or right, if you're using ar smg whatever have you all right this is strictly only for those of you who love sniping or just leveling up a sniper and stuff like that getting gold and all that stuff all right so hope this video helped you out and as always take care everyone till next time